this software has uh, an interesting tool that you can create a seamless and tileable um, fabric for your design and export it in any format that you want. For beginning that, first we need a simple fabric from here. For example, a default simple fabric from there and assign it to your fabric that you want to design. You can design your <clears throat> fabric texture. If you select the fabric, no, we have, we needed the fabric that had a texture on it, okay? Because we need a base texture on it and you can delete it. And after that, you can delete this texture that you want. We have a need a simple texture below that. If you, if you have a simple texture, as you can see in a simple fabric, we don't have any texture. If you go on edit, as you can see, we have nothing to begin with. Here you can add, you can add a simple PNG, PSD, AI, anything that you want. For example, I select this PNG and as you can see, it's here. Okay, uh, you can select it and change its uh, scale or in any dimension here. And you can simply move it. Okay, you can, so you can begin with no texture. <clears throat> uh, but the important thing is here, it here is the uh, canvas size of this. Okay, and as you can see, it's it's not good. Uh, you can change the canvas size to, for example, 4K, 2K, any format that, oops, any format that you want. That's it. 4K, 2K, and PPI, it's better to be this 300. You can change it in a PPI or and as you can see, this is a 4K texture. Okay, we begin to uh, this size that you want. Uh, if you select it, as you can see, you can insert any texture to create your pattern. For example, we are going to its settings and explain them one by. Or for example, you can add another, uh, for example, texture here. And you can right click, I think. Yeah, here, it's an, unlike a Photoshop, you can bring them up or down with changing a layer that you want here, okay? If you select it, you can zoom in out. Here, you can change the blur of the edge. As you can see, you can make it a blur if you want. You can change the opacity of that texture. Oops, I'm going to zero. You can change the opacity. Here you can uh, make a tile. The first tool that I want to explain and important here is tile. You can then delete it. Oops. Just make it. Oops. Select it and you can select it here. And here you can tile. If you tile, it's automatically make it tile. But as you can see, we have an issues here that we explain it. Because uh, this is our mm, tile and it's repeat on other side. Okay, here you can change the space between them or shifting, for example, in a pixel, as you can see in X and Y, or you can add a shift. As you can see, they are not exactly perpendicular in a horizontal or vertical. You can shift in X and shift in a Y. Okay, this is on tile. But the most important tool is here, extend to the other side. If you, uh, you have to make a texture like this because we want to repeat it. If you create a texture like this and uh, you sh sure that your texture does not meet the edges, you can uh, create it here. Or for example, you can add this here. I think, oh, it's very big. You can uh, bring it down. And this is our 
and this is and as you can see it's repeated here but i want to bring it here exactly and as you can see our problem begins well if you uh, work in a photoshop you have to do a lot of work to mirror it and commit here cutting but we turn it on this option as you can see it automatically uh, if solve that issues for example cut it here and it's automatically make a tile for you and this is untileable it's interesting it's uh, it's automatically extended to the other side or if you select this and you know this is not like this here you can extend it and here you can uh, make sure that your design is nice and here with these tools you can create your pattern and here's the transformation access pivot position size and angle here you can change it if you want to rotate it you can rotate it with this so in this uh, we can apply if you save the texture if you save the images it saves the images separately we don't like it if you apply it it's applied to the texture as you can see it's apply and if you want to go and close it you can apply and close it and here our texture and if you want to save it you can go in this tool click on here and as you can see it's automatically save in your document Here you can, as you can see, you can see the document properties. As you can see, we have a PNG high quality. Oh, we have a very nice and big size of texture. And nice. You can export it. You can bring it in other uh, application to make a texture. So with this tool, if you don't like it, you can delete it. And delete it here, as you can see. Or you can delete it if you want from here. So for uh, access your tile texture that you created, you have to go in uh, this way, this address. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.